Welcome back. We are now going to look at linear expansion. Linear expansion is one of the topics we cover for the heat module. It's very important if uh, you do it at N1, at N2, as well as N3. So linear expansion basically refers to the increase in length of a material. We know that same materials expand when they are exposed to very high temperatures and they shrink back when they are exposed to very low temperatures. So that is the whole concept of the linear expansion. So we're going to look at linear expansion and expansion as a concept or rather say thermal expansion. These are the topics we will cover. We will understand what is linear expansion, then we will look at examples where expansion is an advantage. We will also look at examples where expansion is a disadvantage. Then we will look at two experiments that can be done to prove expansion. And then we will calculate the changes in length of objects using these two equations. Okay. So what is linear expansion? Linear expansion refers to an increase in length of a material due to very high temperatures. So as I said, if the material is exposed to very low temperatures, it will shrink back and become smaller. Okay, what are the examples that we have in real life that show expansion? Firstly, the mercury thermometer. The mercury inside the thermometer expands when heated in order to indicate temperature. So we looked at that thermometer already. We said inside the ball you have the liquid, which in this case will be the mercury. When you put it under arm, it senses the heat and then the mercury expands into that narrow tube for us to see the reading in temperature. Securing of parts, if you want to ensure a gas tight seal, you can heat the other part so it opens up and you fit in the other part that must go in. When it's in, you allow it the whole thing to cool. When it cools down, the part that was heated will cool down and shrink back and become smaller. In that way, it will ensure a gas tight seal. This is the same process for number five, machining of parts. Rods and valves expand when heated. Heating can ensure that valves will seal properly. Number three, electric switches and thermostats. The metal expands when heated in order to switch on or off. So the thermostats operate on this principle of expansion. Automatic chokes, the bimetal strip is used to operate the choke valve. I will uh, send you a video that shows how a bimetal strip is, uh, how it works, because that is one of the experiments we're going to do to prove expansion. Then you will understand. And then what are the examples where expansion is a disadvantage in the, in the real life? During the design of railway lines, you will notice that they cut short pieces and they join them together. So one side, you, mostly we will see balls around the railway lines. And that is for expansion. They cut small pieces so as to open the clearance in between the pieces. Unlike just one long piece, from Cape Town to Johannesburg. You don't get that because if you do that, then when the temperatures are very high during the day, it's gonna deform and buckle up. The pipelines also, this principle is applied because of expansion. They cut short pieces and they, if they weld the one side, they will bolt the other side. So the bolted side will allow for expansion. Steel and concrete bridges, when they design bridges, they don't weld everything. The best is to put one side of the bridge on rollers, even though rollers are expensive, but it's best because they, the, the, build, the bridge can then roll back and forth as it expands and contracts. The telephone and electrical wires, you will notice they don't pull them straight. They always allow for, it, it, also, it always looks like it, it has a sort of a slag so that it can allow for expansion during heat and construction at night. The boilers and the pipelines is the same principle. One side of the boiler vessel will be completely, uh, will be bolted if the other side is welded so as to allow for expansion. Okay, so just to show pictures of what we were talking about. You will see that the railway lines, there is always short pieces that are joined together. So this shows the part where it's joined together. There's, a, there's some clearance in between. So this clearance will allow 
for these parts to expand or to contract without losing the shape or bending and backing up. So if it was one long piece, this is what would happen during the heat of the day. But they don't put one long piece, they put short pieces and join them together. Okay, so this is how it will look like when the bridge is put on rollers. So that roller will allow to roll back and forth to allow for expansion, telephone and power cables, there's a set during hot weather. Rail expand and may buckle on a hot summer day. Engineers leave expansion gaps between the rails during construction. Okay. These are the two experiments that we are going to do. I'm going to send you a video for each of these experiments. And then you will look at that video and you will understand. So just in a nutshell, this is for the bimetallic strip. The bimetallic strip is a strip that is made up of two metals that are not similar. For instance, in this case, they use brass and iron joining together. So, and then you heat the strip. So what will happen is you heat the strip, the metals are going to expand. But because they are not the same type of metal, the expansion rate will differ. So one metal will expand and become much longer compared to the other. So what will happen, the strip will bend towards the direction of the one that is not so long. So that is what will happen with the concept of the bimetallic strip. And the grave sense, ball and ring, what you will do there, you will have a ball that goes through a ring under normal temperatures. Then what will happen if you heat up the ball, the ball will expand and if you try to fit it through the ring, it won't go through. You'll have to wait until the temperatures uh, uh, cool down, then you fit it again, it will go through. So that proves that if you heat up the ball, it's going to expand and it won't be able to go through the ring. Or you can have a ball that doesn't go through the ring and you heat the ring and the ring opens up and then when it's open, you'll be able, the ball will be able to go through. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to send you videos of those experiments, or you can look at the videos on YouTube. You can just say grave sense, ball and ring, and you can say the concept of a bimetallic strip. Just say bimetallic strip and look on videos. There are numerous videos posted on YouTube that display it. Okay.